Thank you. So what happens next? That is the big question for North Carolina lawmakers. This after the Justice Department issued a harsh warning. Do something about HB2 or risk losing what some say could be billions of federal dollars. The Justice Department argues the law violates the Civil Rights Act, but Governor Pat McCrory continues to defend HB2, saying it's not an anti-LGBT issue, but a privacy one instead. We called up with Attorney General Roy Cooper this morning. He is, of course, challenging McCrory in the gubernatorial race. He says it's time to repeal what he calls a devastating law. You know, I think it's important that North Carolina repeal HB2 for the good of our schools and for the good of our economy. And it's time for the governor and the state legislature to take action. Every state will be impacted uh, by this uh, interpretation, I might add, by one agency within the Obama administration. And today, all eyes are on the General Assembly, where lawmakers have to decide what they will do next. Our political reporter, Bo Minnick, joins us live. And, Bo, the state has until Monday to decide how it will respond to the feds. Any indication at all what direction they're going? Russ, lawmakers actually just adjourned for the day, and I did just speak with House Speaker Tim Moore, and he tells me that lawmakers will not give an answer to the federal government by Monday. Now, this Department of Justice letter indicates that North Carolina is in violation of the Civil Rights Act including Title VII, which says that employees cannot discriminate, excuse me, employers cannot discriminate on the basis of sex. The DOJ says that House Bill 2 discriminates against transgender employees whose biological sex does not match their gender identity. Supporters of House Bill 2 say that this is federal government overreach. Of course, there's a very tight deadline that was given that frankly is unreasonable and uh, in all candor uh, with all due respect we think the Obama administration is playing politics with this and it shouldn't be so you know the legislative process doesn't work where a response can be given by just a few days I think it would be really devastating and it would really demonstrate uh, very clearly uh, how wrong the legislature was to pass House Bill 2 and how damaging and discriminatory that this law really is Certainly a lot of moving parts here. As I mentioned, the legislature has adjourned for the day. Lawmakers, a lot of the Republican lawmakers, will be in Greensboro over the weekend for the state GOP convention. And then, again, the deadline is Monday, but House Speaker Tim Moore says do not expect the state to address it by then. Live in Raleigh, Bo Minnick.